Okay, this is the um, KKDO Tower, and we're looking at the um, gate here, sign on the gate on Rosebud. It's right at the end of Rosebud. There is this private property sign, and there's a tower up here. Now up at the top of the tower, let's see, we go, uh, we'll zoom in on that. bit to the left. There. There's the um, the view of the omnidirectional circular polarized antenna, which is probably uh, the actual KKDO broadcasting antenna. I'll go down a little bit here and um, there's um, it's like three dipoles, an area of three vertical dipoles. Now, this um, over to the left here looked like a spiral type of uh, a halo antenna. It's horizontal polarized, and that might be the uh, Channel 22 analog uh, TV translator antenna. It's a number of parabolic dishes. Back up a little bit here. And uh, there's a, one of the platforms. Uh, there's an interesting antenna. Let's zoom in on that. It's like a like cross dipoles on the end of that. Perhaps also circular polarization type of uh, array. Yeah, it looks like a collinear array there, vertically polarized. And another one on the other side. Okay, now this is a uh, Parabolic reflector. And another uh, platform with a number of antennas. That looks like there's a parabolic dish over there. And another one on this side. Cell, cell phone antenna there. And there is a Yagi, vertically polarized Yagi antenna. More cell phone antennas. And we'll zoom in on here. This is, it looks to be like a uh, log periodic antenna. We can go really close in there and it certainly does look like a log periodic vertically polarized antenna. And there's some kind of antenna that would screen, it looks like uh, vertical screen reflectors. Probably more cell antenna, cell phone antenna. And an awful lot of coaxial cables. And I think that's the extent of what we can see from this side here. And there again is the KKDO broadcast antenna. And uh, we'll zoom in again on the sign here. Uh, registration number and uh, information for this particular tower.